Tell you what, daily vlogging is getting quite difficult. I'm at 157, I think it is now, and too many times I've sat down in front of a camera and started talking about something and then realised that I already did a vlog about this. I just sat here and spent 10 minutes talking about games I'd like to see remastered, and I'm certain I've talked about it before. I had a quick look through, and I can't see it in my rundown, but... Maybe I just missed it, but I went to say things and I remember saying them before. I remember referencing certain things or talking about certain things. So I'm not going to go through it until I'm confident that I haven't spoken about it already. Um, the reason I was going to talk about that was just that I'm frustrated with Amazon because I basically asked Mrs. Sheepdog to get me Sukaden 1 and 2 remastered for my birthday. Um, it was out on my birthday. That was the release date. So when I asked for it, I expected to be able to play it on my birthday and then just crack on and get quite far into it before MGP came out on, on Saturday. Um, it's not arrived yet. I mean, it says it might arrive tomorrow, but it could easily be Tuesday because of the bank holiday. So I'm just a little bit like, because that was my plan. And my plan was to just play the heck out of it, talk about it when it's the brand new release and all this, that and the other. Um, and Amazon have let me down. So I'm a bit sad about that, um, especially when we've got Amazon Prime. I mean, surely they they have them all in stock it's, a, it's not that popular a game so yeah that's miffed me and i was going to go on this whole talk about other games i'd like to see them remake and i made a long old list about it and i'm thinking what a useless list that is now um one thing i will say though and that point i started to get onto after i talked was i feel bad for my kids actually they don't get to enjoy the same sorts of games that i played when i was little um and i don't just mean like running around games like sonic and mario which they do get to enjoy the things I mean is I got, when I was about seven, eight, nine, around that age, my cousin brought round, I can't remember what it was, I had, uh, I had Mario All-Stars on the SNES and he didn't have it, so he borrowed it and he lent me Sim City, which seems like a really, really odd trade, but he lent me it and then he brought my one back really quickly because he played it, I guess, and said I could keep Sim City because I was in love with that game. It, I played the heck out of it. Like I played it so, so much. So, 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 so much. It's ridiculous how much time I spent on that. I used to play that game to a point where I would build up a massive city and then I would leave the console on overnight or all day. I'd go out, I'd go play in the street and everything. And when I come back, my bank balance would be like, you know, 100 million or whatever and i'd sit there and i'd just carry on building and upgrading and be like right now no i can invest in the transport and replace my my traffic roads with trains and you know invest in police and lower taxes i'd get to a point where the taxes in my city would be like less than one percent but i'd be making so much money out of all my theme parks and casinos and clever investments and um i remember the the extent i was addicted to that game was that when i applied for secondary schools I tried to get into a very, very nice um, school a bit further away than where I lived. And my mum referenced that it was one of my favourite pastimes. And um, I felt so embarrassed that she referenced a computer game that I made some comment about only playing it so I could destroy the cities with, with monsters and stuff. But she was right. I was such a nerd. I loved playing that. And on top of games like that, I got really into the likes of the Roller Coaster Tycoon theme park, uh, theme hospital. Uh, I'm trying to think what else now. Uh, Age of Empires, a bit of um, Civilization. You know, there's loads of them, and it's all the sort of Sims and you know you playing as the owner of whatever and building whatever up. Zoo Tycoon. Uh, you know, just anything where you were the manager. And sometimes I'd play them a bit badly, like Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'd be sort of sat there making paths and you're putting prices up for things and you know but I, I used to be so clever at them like I'd, I'd let people into the park for free and I'd make all the rides quite cheap but then I'd pray that it was going to rain because if it rained I'd put like umbrellas up to nine dollars and everyone would buy one and I'd have like park maps for sale at every corner for like a dollar and you know people would go nuts for them and basically maps and umbrellas were paying for my entire park and i'd be, be again a, a gazillionaire you know i'd start in a bit where they give you a, like a big piece of land and i'd be flogging all the statues and stuff and then investing it in roller coasters and yeah it was just brilliant i loved all of that and and when you look at those games now 
they don't work the same at all there's no kind of they can't just sit there and build and research and invest and whatever they're completely different from how they were when i was a kid maybe that's because they've added realism to them or whatever but but i mean i used to love premier manager 98 i used to play the heck out of that i think i played that through till like 2001 as my go-to management sim because whilst it was very very basic you had a lot more control over things like you controlled how many seats the stadium had you controlled how big the car park was how big the club shop was you controlled whether you insured your players and stuff like that so you'd be like spending money on things here and there and then you'd be making decisions and it had really quirky bits to it like if you learned the game it like you could put a remember Sol Campbell who's an absolute monster probably the most hated footballer in uh, Spurs' history definitely but if you played him up front he went from being a 90 out of 100 defender to a 98 out of 100 striker and it was a really weird quirk of the game probably because he was good at header him but I'd stick him up front in my team with Ronaldo who I'd bought because I'd invested heavily in car parks and made a lot of money out of it or whatever it was. I don't, it might not have been car parks that made the money, um, but I'd invest in whatever it was and I'd be playing as like Barnet. They were one of my go-to teams. They're like one of the worst teams in the game and I'd have Sol Campbell and Ronaldo up front for them um, and just be taking on the computer, you know, the, the, the world basically. Um, but playing the numbers in these games was awesome and, there's no games like that. Like I said, there's no games like that. Or there's no legitimate way for kids to sit and play them. They can't... If I got them for my kids, they'd, they'd look at them... I mean, it might just be they'd look at them and they'd think these are boring because they're not the sort of games that kids normally like. My sister likes playing theme hospital. Some of that, I wonder whether that's just because I, I got... I mean, I was the one that got them. I played on them a lot. So she probably just... It was normal for her. I don't know anyone else who spent all their time playing these games, but I don't know where my kids would access them. There'd be apps now where you'd basically build a little bit, you'd wait for a day, and then you'd build a little bit more. That's the bit that's ruined it, all the micro bits. You know, I play The Simpsons Tapped Out still, and that's all like build your Springfield, manage your number, manage, manage your number, manage your money, manage your donuts, you know, invest in this, invest in that, do this, that, and the other. And it's like, if that game had came out, 10 15 years ago it would have been a probably a beloved you know sim city clone where you built springfield and it would have been fantastic and you'd have researched it or whatever and it had all the jokes and that you know i miss the fact that games were like that they've got too overcomplicated. you look at football manager now and that's a different i know it's a proper management sim and it's hardcore but it's nothing it's not as fun as premier manager 98 i mean i guess premier manager 98 probably wouldn't have got a thousand hours a year out of people um, it probably didn't get that much out of me. I just remember playing it more, but um, it's just not as it's not as quirky. There's not as much control. I want. I I've always I I've had arguments with the people that run Football Manager uh, Sports Interactive because I've said to them I want a chairman mode, and they said to me we'll make your own game, and I'm like well I can't sit. I haven't got. A, I can't just sit and make my own Football Manager game, can I? Um, I just wish they'd. I wish there'd be more people like me who would say, "Yeah, I'd like a chairman mode, or the ability to become chairman manager and properly run the club." Because I'd like to think if I became a football manager in real life, I would talk to the chairman quite a lot, and I'd say to the chairman, "This is what I think we should focus on. This is what we should do. This is, you know, being able to say to the chairman, you need to put the price of the shirts down slightly so they sell more, or you know, let." put the prices down a fiver but put an extra quid on all the drinks and just make sure that when the fans come here they they can drink and eat as much as they want but it's it's earning it so i don't know just there's there's loads of weird illogical spits to it where you're like why would you want a crowd of five thousand when you could have a crowd of ten thousand and twice the people would then spend more stuff and then it doesn't equally work like that in the real world but you have to have better conversations and the game should allow for that because most of these games would allow for that and it was more fun and it feels like a lot of them have lost the fun they've gone more about being a realistic simulation of what it's like to run a city or a, a theme park or a an empire or whatever and it's like no i just want to be able to resource manage to a certain point um frustratingly i know that there are there is a game development company that have made a copy of theme hospital and it's like yeah but it feels and looks like it's an emulation of it i kind of just want someone to make i want the original people to make it with the same love and attention they made the old ones i suppose i don't know but i'm nervous i'm nervous because sukaden sukaden shenmue sukaden was one of the ones on my list uh, shenmue 
should just be a polished version of the other of the original this one and two three though is made by new people and i'm nervous that it'll just be what they imagine or remember the original two being like i'm worried about that a little bit um i'm worried that with like final fantasy 7 being remade they're gonna th try and improve on it when that game just needs to be cloned it just needs to be you know just a more beautiful version because i don't trust them to put the same love in i, I trust the suka then people the shenmue people sorry to put the love in that it deserves because they've gone to the effort of fundraising and everything but i just feel like final fantasy 7 is not going to get the love i feel like theme hospitals remake isn't quite getting the love or I, I don't know that much about it i just feel like it's not quite when i look at it it doesn't feel like it like the bullfrog version um i don't know i just i was looking through my list and i was thinking my kids are never going to experience a proper tony hawk game as awesome as the ones that used to be on the playstation you know they're never going to get a proper road rash where you're going down the road whipping people with chains and stuff they're just mario kart's replaced that now anyway any attempt to make a proper road rash game would just be laughed off as a mario kart clone I and mean, that was the original mario kart um i just feel like maybe a lot of these just need a bit of polish and re-release by a team that's going to put a bit of effort into it but i don't know i suppose for that to happen it would just be it'll just be a cynical cash in for people like me and no one would ever buy it but um yeah this has turned into a different video to the one i set out to do but Shenmue's made me think, I guess, that there is... I mean, you look, they've just brought out Crash Bandicoot and they're bringing out Spyro. They're, Crash Bandicoot's one I played the heck out of, but Spyro's one I didn't play. Um, but you look at them and you think they're good omens that they might bring out a lot of the other ones. They brought out Abe's Odyssey again. So I suppose they are making the effort with some of them and it seems to be going relatively well. But it's just, I want to see these... I want to see these proper theme or tycoon games be made to the quality they used to be made um i mean if they just brought out a good red alert game like red alert 2 i'd probably be set for the next ten, you know, two three years i know you said 10 years then that's excessive but um again ea own that now so it's never going to get the love and attention it deserves anyway enough about me moaning about games i just thought it would be an interesting one i didn't mean this to sound so negative but i don't know i feel like my kids are missing out i think bosco despite being being the, the maniac that he can be i think he'd quite enjoy sitting and running his own uh, his own theme park and stuff when he's a little bit older i think that's the kind of thing he'd find really exciting but sim city got too involved it's not just boxes anymore it's i remember playing sim city 2000 and it being slightly too much um, sim city 4 was very good but then they brought out the new one with the weird restrictions on it and they wrecked it and i feel like that was their chance to bring it back and make it epic and they didn't um but i'd love to i keep thinking i might have to show bosco and lamp up the originals on like a snes uh i don't know if the little one that they sell the the mini has sim city on it but if it does that'd be worth maybe showing them and seeing what they think because if i can get lamp up hooked on it that'd be awesome but i say i'm gonna wrap it up there i am using my new tripod tonight i've not got a laptop propped up on a house of cards i've got a tripod microphone and my lamp behind everything now so let me know what you think about that whether it looks any different or better or whatever um it's boo boo's birthday at the weekend so i'll do a video about that no doubt on saturday um it is hard graft trying to think of daily topics now i'm gonna need ideas from people i think just because i'm going through a summer lull of not much happening i feel like after the disney ones up here i'm kind of struggling to come up with stuff that's good enough but yeah any help welcome any questions welcome just otherwise the alternative is to do less vid uh, less videos up, but do a higher quality of them rather than trying to shoehorn ideas and thoughts in every day because man daily vlogging gets hard i don't know how people do it for decades or whatever there's people that have been doing it for like six or seven years and um i don't know how they do it anyway thanks for watching subscribe like comment on that bombshell um i am going to keep trying and i'm going to keep brainstorming and i will have ideas and I'm, I'm doing lots of notes and i have you know i've got ideas it's just bringing them up every day i guess is, is difficult subscribe like comment thanks for watching comment below give me your ideas and i'll see you tomorrow it's bank holiday weekend soon let's all have a big rest